Today we're going to talk about how I stole one of these. Twice. So here's the scenario. I'm working as an overnight stalker for a major retail company. Their doors are all closed and locked and there's a security guard monitoring us all night. Well, one night, that security guard decides, hey, I'm not gonna take it anymore. Forget about this place. He throws us the keys to the main security locker and says, it's all yours. That night, I stole a PS2, Crazy Taxi, Batman Vengeance, and Max Payne. Now at the time, the Xbox had just came out and that thing was a powerhouse still one of the greatest consoles ever made and halo was out at the time so why would i want a ps2 simple ps1 was a tried and true system so i knew that whatever was going to be on ps1 all its sequels were going to end up on ps2 in the long run i was right the ps2 is the highest selling system of all time and it's that way for a reason man i love this thing this model that i have right now has been soft modded with free mcboot and has a little USB drive right here and it's full of games. So I don't have to worry about accessing the uh, open tray or whatnot or doing any hot swapping. And yes, I still have a lot of OG PS2 games. In fact, PS2 is probably one of the cheapest systems to collect for. So if you guys are ever gonna start out collecting, start out with the PS2. You'll be glad you did. Now back to my story. Now the doors were locked, so I figured, how am I going to get these out of here? The next morning, we went ahead and took out the trash, put them through the uh, garbage chute and into the dumpster. When I clocked out of work, I drove up to the dumpster, dived in, pulled out my swag, smoked a few bowls of weed, and played some video games. Two weeks later, I got divorced. Karma. The second time I stole the PS2, well, actually, I bought it first. I was working at Blockbuster at the time. They were selling uh, some of these old PS2s that were used for rentals. I went ahead and bought one for about $45. It didn't work. My cousin and I spent all night trying to get that laser to read any of the games. Eventually we did, but it was still really, really glitchy. So my cousin and I decided to go to a local Toys R Us and buy a new PS2. Took it home, used some X-Acto knives, and opened up the PS2 box, pulled out the PS2, unscrewed the uh, main shell where the serial numbers were, and swapped them with the old PS2. Put it into the PS2 box, resealed it, took it back to the Toys R Us, and got our money back. About a month later, I lost my job at Blockbuster. Karma. Now, as much as I love the PS2, it doesn't pay to steal. Please, take it from me. Crime doesn't pay. Until next time, be true, be you.